Hey guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio. Welcome back to another Demo Creator tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you guys how to use text, annotations, and animations in your videos. So without further ado, let's get started by adding some text. The video you're watching right now is sponsored by Wondershare. Big thank you to them. Let's get on with the tutorial. I just opened up the same file that we used in the last tutorial. I'm gonna scroll over to this TI button and click. This is the text section. And now if you go to this drop down menu where it says all and you click on it, there are four types of text. We have openers, titles, subtitles, and end credits. Let's go in order. We're gonna go to the openers first. So these openers are meant to introduce your video. So I'm gonna take this one, I'm just gonna drag it on top of my video. And as you can see, it has this really nice animation. I guess this one would probably be for school, as you can see the backpacks and the protractor um, in the background. This one would be good for if you're a teacher, you can put this at the start of your video. I'm just gonna put open tunes tutorial animation curves. Say I was talking about the function editor or something like that. You can also edit this text um, and give a little summary of what your tutorial is going to be about. In order to edit text in Demo Creator, all you have to do is click on the text and then hover over to the right in this editor section. So I'm gonna click, hit Control A, backspace to get rid of everything. I'm just going to say, I'll say Function Editor Explained. Okay, and then that, that's all we have to do. So now our video starts with this. That's pretty nice. And then I'm just gonna add a small fade transition. I'm gonna go over transitions more in another video, but I'm just gonna hover down here where it says transitions, grab this dissolve and put it at the end. And there we go, we have an opening for our tutorial. Okay, next we're gonna go to the titles section. Now the titles are all pre-animated. I find this really, really cool. And I think the one that you guys are gonna use most often is going to be these lower third title. Now you can actually add titles in the annotation section and I'll show you how to do that when we get to it. But these lower third titles are really great call outs. They're very appealing to look at and I'll show you a few of them. First we have this one that says your title. It just opens up like that and has a nice little animation. I just wanna say version 1.4. Just add a little note to my viewers. That looks pretty nice. This is very easy to edit. All you gotta do is click on the text Hover over to the video, click on the text, and then just edit what's in this box. You can also edit more with the text. You can change the text to bold, like so. You can change it to italics and center it, or put it to the side, depending on what type of text it is. You can also add a border. So the border right now is white. If we just click this little enable slider, we can change that to black to add a border around our text. You can give the border a blur by dragging up this blur slider and you can adjust the size right here. I'm gonna keep it relatively small, just like that. You can also add a shadow to your text, which is nice. You can change the color of the shadow. I'm gonna keep it at black, change the opacity. So I just want a slight shadow and change the blur as well, as well as the distance. Very, very simple. So what have we learned? Anytime you want to edit something in Demo Creator, you're gonna be looking at this little editor section on the right. Just remember that. Okay, another cool lower third animation is this one. This one probably better for a wedding or some sort of sophisticated occasion. And we got this little lightning bolt one, which looks pretty dope. All right, so let's go to the subtitles. Now, if you're making animations, this may be really, really important because perhaps you want your animation to be voice acted in one language, but also have subtitles in another. So we have the first subtitle, that your animation is in English and you want the subtitles to be in Spanish. Here is a single subtitle option which is nice. You can just click on the text to go to the editor, type in the Spanish that you want, that you want the Spanish speaking viewers to see. You also have the option of double subtitles. We can have it in English subtitles as well. And then we can put the other language, in our case Spanish, on the bottom, just like that. You can also make the text bigger. You can increase the text box size, but you can also increase the size of the actual text itself with the tools here. You can grab it and make sure it's centered, which is nice. You do the same for this one. So that's pretty cool, pretty useful for us animators. And finally, we have the end credits. So this is some of the typical end credits, put these at the end, where they'll just sort of scroll up. And the way you edit these, you can just click on each one and edit the text in the edit section. That's a pretty typical one. You can also have this kind of end credit where you thank your viewers for watching and you can put whatever you wanna say at the end there as well. 
You also have one that is sort of individual, so you can name all the producers in one credit and then add another one to name all the animators. So yeah, that about covers it for the text. You can just have them all show if you select all from this drop-down menu. And I encourage you guys to get the free trial of this software and try them out for yourself and see which ones you like. Okay, next we have annotations. So first we just have some regular text dialog boxes like these two, you can just place them here and then you can actually click and edit the text, which is nice. You can move this around, scale it up and down and leave that in your video. You can also create your own dialog boxes by adding one of these boxes here and then grabbing this blank text and then just editing the text and putting it over the dialog box. Scale it to keep it in place, just like that. Next for annotations, we have these arrows. You can put an arrow with text in it, which is pretty dope. This red arrow that would appear. This is just a basic red arrow. It's not animated. Same with all these, these are just clip art. But the real cool thing is that they do have animated arrows in this next section. These are probably one of my favorite things about Demo Creator that they have these animated check marks and arrows and X's. I think they're really cool. Say I wanted to point out what room I am in in OpenTunes. I'm in the sketch room. I can just grab this curved arrow and when you drag it over the screen, you can add it to the frame of the playhead. I mean, you can add it to the current time of the video we're in. We can add it to the beginning of the video or we can add it to the end. So I'm gonna drag it right to the middle cause I want it at the current time. If we let it play a little bit, this arrow will animate itself, which is pretty dope. So I'm just gonna grab this arrow I'm gonna rotate it like this, click and drag, scale it down and point it at this sketch page. So say I'm talking about what room I'm in, I can point to the sketch page, which is pretty dope. You would also add this cool check mark, which is animated as well. I think I'd most likely use this a lot. I really do like the way they animated these, very clean. Lastly, we just have some shape clip art in case you're a teacher and you need to use geometric shapes, these are there as well. You can edit all of this art in the editor section so we can increase the scale, the rotation, we can change the position as well by clicking and dragging. We can change the color. We can change its opacity by dragging this slider. Size of its border. You can make everything have a border, which is nice. Okay, lastly, we have the stickers section. Now this sticker section has actually a lot of useful tools in it. So first we have these emojis, which you can place on top of your video to react to whatever's happening. Give yourself a round of applause if you wanted, or you can just celebrate whatever it is you just accomplished by adding a bunch of fireworks. <laughs> if you click this drop down menu, we actually have a few tools that are really useful. We have the background tool. From an earlier tutorial, we know how to set our background color, but these are actual pre-made backgrounds, which is pretty dope. So let's add this one, this gradient one, it looks pretty nice. And we can actually drag our video over this like so, and then we can scale this video down by clicking on it and dragging inwards. We can center it with the transform guides. And look at that, that actually looks really, really cool. I can set this down here at the bottom and drag it all the way out so it can last for our entire video. I'm gonna keep that because that looks really cool. There's other backgrounds you can try. This gradient one looked the nicest to me, so I'm gonna stick with it. In the next section, it says education. We have some clip art, which is nice. X, question mark, all good stuff. One thing I didn't tell you guys that is you can change the blending mode of the clip art. Now, if you don't know what blending modes are, basically they just change how the clip art interacts with the rest of the video or the layers under it. I use them a lot in animation and digital art, but basically if I hit normal, if I click on the blending mode drop down menu and I go to multiply, it'll turn sort of a transparent. We can do a color dodge, which will make it sort of glow. We can do overlay. Yeah, there's a lot of different blending modes you can do, but keep it on normal if you want things to look okay. Make sure the opacity is all the way up. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, next we have game clip art. You, can hit, you have the game over clip art in case you lose something. Pac-Man for all your uh, Pac-Man needs. And you even got a little controller icon. Okay, next we have the gestures. These are really, really cool. And I think they're useful. If you're making software tutorials, you have these simple animated gestures that can demonstrate what the user should do in order to interact with the software. So we have the click, which is nice. You can put your little subscribe button and have this little hand click it. You have the slide, which is which is most likely for mobile users. So swiping the screen. You also have a click and drag one, which is really cool. You have sort of a scrolling or a dragging one and you have this simple touch. I think these are really cool as a YouTuber. It's nice to have animated assets on your videos. I think those are dope. And finally, we had just have some social media clip art. We have the like button. We got the internet symbol and we even got the, the like button. And to organize all these things, we have the timeline and you can click and drag videos in the timeline to put them on a layer above or below. As you can see, I dragged the gradient to the bottom and I put the video on top here. Just make sure if you want your effects, text, 
titles or emojis to show that you drag them above your video column, which will always be in blue. Your video column is always going to be in blue. Your audio is always going to be in green. Just make sure that all of your effects and your text are above the blue column and then it'll all show. So that'll wrap it up for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. In my next tutorial, I'm gonna teach you guys about transitions and some effects you can put on your mouse cursor. Thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.